I had to do was figure out how we were going to take a product that was struggling in the market, merge that into something that was going to compete with YouTube, which was sucking the oxygen out of the entire internet. The clinic that I inherited um, was, was known for being kind of the castaway clinic. Forget the to-do list that you come to work with. If you're walking out on the clinic floor to say hello to everybody in the morning, questions just start flying. I had to get a lot better at sanctioning people, uh, and that was really hard. That was very, very hard for me because I was so used to being able to be positive. He was becoming more and more aggressive, um, more and more defensive, really leaning forward in his chair and questioning the things that I was saying to him. And to the, the extent that he became, um, he, he, he started to cry. After about two weeks, she came into my office and closed the door and said, I, I need to talk to you. And she sat down and, and, and burst into tears. Is it really her, is it me? But I'm the young manager. I've never managed anybody before. I, I don't feel bad about saying that I was doubting myself because I really was. I really was thinking there were times when I was walking in, I was like, I'm the worst manager ever. My goal in the meeting, rather than demonstrate my intellectual thoroughness, should have been to appreciate the relationship between them and to listen. This second role was a much, much bigger role. I was now going to manage uh, our entire business with Target, which was about a $600 million business, as opposed to before I was managing about an $80 million business. I literally was shuffling paper, I think, I think, you know, metaphorically, but physically from one side of my desk to another, not knowing how I could impact the business. I was in way over my head. Yeah.